village is supporting the Syrian refugee and we are targeting more especially the children, both uh, Syrian children and Jordanian because we don't want to create uh, discrimination. So we are providing them a wide range of uh, activities and the aim is really to improve their uh, living condition by creating a space where they can play, learn, socialize and have better children activities. Terdizam has been active in child protection in Jordan since 2007. Located at the heart of a geographical region besieged by humanitarian crisis, Jordan has taken in a great number of Syrian refugees. The people often live in precarious conditions and a high number of children are subject to violence and discrimination. Together with community-based organizations, TDH provides emergency help and creates a safer environment for children. Jordan there are three main projects so the biggest project is in the north of Jordan where they are working with the uh, host community Syrian refugees in host communities there is another project in the AGC camp who receive so um, which receive only Syrian people and then there's the juvenile justice project in which we are working with children at risk to be in conflict with the law and with children in conflict with the law الحمد لله دعمونا مادية مدة شهرين ساعدني بهالشيء إنه كمان رجعوا على المدرسة وأنا عملت مغا يعني جلسات مع رزان فاستفدت دعم نفسي ري كنت كثير حالتي صعبة لما جيت يعني حالة نفسية متحطمة وكل الجيران وولاد وهيك يعني وبنتي كمان عملت عند رزان كمان جلسات بشرة كمان عطتها صغب نفسها كيف يعني تكون الموسقة بنفسها وتعرفت على صديقات جداد كمان يعني كثير ساعدتنا ونظمتها أرض البشر مجرد إنه فتح هذا المركز الحمد لله تغيروا تابعوا وغيروا ونشاطات الحمد لله ودعم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأنا بتمنى Our, our psychosocial activities, it's uh, a, a link between games for their well-being and exercise to, to ensure their improvement and hope and the future will be more brighter for, for these uh, children. TDH is using a community-based approach. Uh, indeed, uh, we want to involve the people from the community to the project to have better sustainability and also to better tackle the problem that we are facing. So in all the activity, as much as we can, we try to involve the community leaders or community members to somehow transfer the ownership of the activity to them. Of course, all what we do is for the beneficiaries, for the children, for them to, to feel better. But it means that we have a team uh, beyond that. And, uh, and these people as well, sincere as they are with us, and always dedicated and motivated, and they want to learn, and they want to see how to better address the needs and to work more together. So just for that, a huge thanks to them as well.